everyone! As you might have guessed by the title of this vlog, I thought it might be fun to show you the real me. Just really how I am on certain days when I just don't have the time or the energy to take a shower or... <laughs> Really the reality of being a mom sometimes. Last night was a rough night. We were up most of the night. Peter came in at his usual 3 a.m. I actually woke up and came downstairs and he was asleep and Ashland was asleep and I said, honey, go to bed and I got it. He slept for about two hours. He was not happy. I think he had gas, I don't know what it was and it's so hard when your baby is just crying and crying. I couldn't do anything to make him feel better. Then he got the hiccups and then he was spitting up and oh it was just like a constant back and forth all night of changing. I think I changed him three or four times. Peed on an outfit and had to change multiple diapers. It's just so the reality of being a mom and I thought it'd be kind of a fun day to talk a little bit more about this side of it because really every time I talk to you all I have showered and I've put on makeup and that is definitely how I look some days <laughs> but I would say most of the time lately this is the real me. <laughs> As you may have noticed I didn't have time to brush my hair or even brush my teeth. You're probably glad you can't smell my breath. So this is one of the many glamorous mornings I have being a new mother. I think I have dried spit up down this side. You know I wiped it up but probably three or four times here. A couple times on this side, got some stains on this tank top that I slept in. It is two o'clock and I just had breakfast and Ashlyn just went down for a nap. We fell asleep again about 9.30. So there's something called mom sleep. <laughs> I think dads have it too. And um, if you're in bed with that baby or if he's anywhere near you and he makes even the slightest peep, you're up, you're awake. <laughs> So any little grunts and Ashlyn likes to make noise. He grunts and kind of squirms and so you know my eyes open up immediately whenever that happens. So it's like this altered state of sleep. I wonder if I'll ever have real sleep again. It's just, it's still great. So the moral of the story is it's okay to not shower for a day or two moms. <laughs> It's okay to look disheveled. It's okay to feel like there's nothing you can do to calm that baby down. I think we tried everything last night. We were standing up and bouncing. We rocked a little bit in the rocker. I even tried him in his crib a little bit this morning. I tried having him sit up on my legs. We had some one-on-one -on -one time. But he was not happy. Has he been changed? Has he been fed? Does he have enough sleep? Is he gassy? It's so hard because you feel like uh, there's nothing you can do and if he can't communicate. The only way he can communicate is by crying and you just feel really sad for him. Oh, he's crying. I'll be right back. I had to go get the boy because he wasn't happy. It's been a rough day, honey. Well, everybody, I think I'm going to have to cut it short because the little man needs me. I think he's hungry and I don't want to hold him off any longer. But I just wanted to tell you all that this is real life and it's okay. <laughs> and it's still beautiful and it's still worth every second because he is the most precious, amazing boy in the world and you will never love anything more than your own baby boy or baby girl. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody. Are you ready to eat, son? Okay. Okay.